What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over leader stats inside of Roblox Studio. Let's go right over to server script service right here, click on the plus icon and insert a script. Now I'm just going to get rid of this print statement right up here. We're going to start off with a simple function. We're going to say game.players. If you don't know what game.players is, this is the player service that we see right here inside of our explorer. This is where all the players are held inside of the game, and that's about it. So game.players.playerAdded. Player added is an event that we can use to run a function. So we're going to colon connect parentheses function right here with more parentheses on the end, and we're going to take player as a parameter. So as I was saying, player added is an event that runs whenever a player joins the game or whenever a player joins the player service. So whenever a player does join that player service, we can feel free to connect a function and we can take the player that joined as a parameter, which is pretty, pretty cool. Now next, we want to use instancing to create a new folder inside of the player. So I'm going to say local leader stats is going to be equal to instance dot new parentheses quotation marks capital F folder. Now if you don't know what leader stats are, leader stats is a folder that goes inside of a player and it holds a lot of the stats or values that will be visible in inside of a leaderboard for the player. Let's continue making it and I'll be able to show you. So we're going to say leader stats dot name with a capital N is going to be equal to lowercase leader stats. Leader stats needs to be spelled all lowercase, otherwise Roblox isn't going to be able to know what we're trying to make here. And if it's named with any capitals whatsoever, then it's not going to display our leader stats for the player. After that, we simply say leader stats dot parent is going to be equal to player, just like this. And what that's going to do is going to parent the leader stats folder to the player. Pretty simple. Now after that line, let's drop down a few more lines. Now. The stat that I'm going to be making is going to be coins, but you can do this for any other thing that you want in your game. Let's say for an obby you want it to count stages. Let's say for a racing game you want to count which place the players are in. You can choose whichever one you want to do. However, for me, I'm going to say local coins will be equal to instance dot new parentheses quotation marks. And now here's where we get into different sorts of values. Now the different values, these are like different data types for variables, sort of. We have int values, which are integer values. We have string values, as you can see right here. We have number values. I'm just going to be using an integer value, so an int value. After that, I'm going to say coins.name is going to be equal to quotation marks, coins with a capital C, and then coins.parent is going to be equal to leader stats, just like this. Well, let's go ahead and click on play and see what happens. So join the game, you'll notice in the top right, we have a little leaderboard here. We have the people inside of our game. For me, that's going to be my avatar right there. For you, it's going to be your avatar. And to the right of that, we have the coins. And this will count the coins that the player has. For me, I have zero coins at the moment, but that's all right. One thing to note, you can create as many different values as you wanted to. Let's create another one for wins, which is going to be equal to instance dot new parentheses quotation marks integer value again wins dot name is going to be equal to wins and then wins dot parent is going to be equal to leader stats. You can see I now have coins and wins inside of here. And if we open up the player service and open up my character, for you will be your character, open up our leader stats folder, you will see the two different values that we have inside of our leader stats folder. Anyways guys, this is how we make leader stats inside of Roblox Studio. If this tutorial helped you, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.